Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing, the place where we try to help you help other people by taking your innovation, the right opportunity, mixing that with sound wisdom to turn them into real things like products and businesses that make money. Now today, I got a question to pose to you. What do you think it is that sometimes your best ideas happen to you in the shower? And you always heard about this has always become kind of a cliche of, yeah, you always get these great ideas in the shower. I've even seen people come out with products where they, it's like kind of a little dry erase board or something, some kind of way to make notes while you're in the shower because they would always have these ideas in the shower. Maybe that was an idea they had in the shower. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, you always wonder why that is. And I know this isn't going to sound related, but... Uh, there's a book by Stephen Covey, it's a famous book, called The Seven Habits of uh, Highly Effective People. And the, the seventh, the last habit that he has, not to give you any spoilers, is called Sharpen Your Saw. And uh, his, kind of his adage from this is, if you sharpen the saw, you cut down the tree much faster. And he tells a story about somebody and he's trying to saw and it's just taking him hours uh, to saw this tree down and... Uh, the guy says, well, why don't you stop, stop and sharpen your saw? He says, I don't have time. I'm, I'm trying to cut this tree down. And a lot of times that's what we do is we're in, in busy, we're, we get busy, we get uh, uh, just, you know, f just filled up with too many things to do, which all of us kind of end up doing. And we don't take the time to sharpen the saw to make the sawing faster and more effective. And that's kind of what I want to say here. And this is kind of why I think you have these are the best ideas in the shower, is you have to take the time to let your mind work its magic. Uh, your mind is a, uh, it's a fantastically powerful thing. But you see, we get way too busy in the process, especially in that startup uh, uh, environment. It's kind of like a triage situation. If you run a small business, if you're doing a startup, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Even if you're just an, you're an inventor and you're, you're just doing product development, you're not doing a whole blown startup, you're just focusing on one product, still it can just be mind-boggling of all the things that's hitting you and just the big to-do list you have and you're putting out fires everywhere and it's just like you can't even take a minute to look up. And you see, a lot of times that's where the problem is. I heard somebody tell one time, they were talking about uh, the reason that a book has a margin in it. And the reason why a book has a margin in it, and you, know, you always notice you'll open a book up and, and there's a margin at the top, there's a margins down the side. He said if it was words just top to bottom, from, from one edge of the page to the other edge of the page, just from the solid, if it was just nothing but words, it wouldn't be easy to read. And you know, that made a lot of sense. He said, if your life's the same way, if you just fill it up with words, you just fill it up with stuff, then you don't have any, any margins, he says, then you just, you can't, it makes it harder to do. And that's true, it does. And I think a lot of times, you know, the only time we do have is when we're in the shower. And that's, oh, hey, wow, how come I come up with these ideas at other times? Well, there's, you don't have any other quiet time like you do there. So this is a reason why there's a great book out there uh, by uh, actually a Jewish rabbi named uh, Daniel Lappin. Uh, and his book is called Thou Shall Prosper. Uh, it's a great book. I highly recommend it. Uh, and uh, he lays out a challenge to people. He says that the reason for the Jewish Sabbath is actually more for you than it is to just, you know, obey a, obey a certain law, obey a certain religious law. And uh, he, said, he said it has more to do with you. And he lays out this tra challenge. He says you need to rest your mind one day a week. He said, and he challenges you to try this. He says, just take one day, no TV, no cell phone, no smartphones, no any, you know, any outside, just no work, don't do anything, and just kind of sit there and let your mind start making these connections that it wants, needs to rest to do. And he says, he says, try it for a month and just, and, and, and tell me, because he says, I challenge you, he said, it will help. 
Now, have I done that yet? I, I want to try that. I, and again, this is kind of something that I am uh, a little guilty of, I'll have to admit, is, is you know, I'm always kind of pushing it to the 11, uh, turning it up to 11, and just trying to see how far I can push outside the envelope. And while that, you know, I, I kind of think of that as, as not an entirely bad thing, I need to take time sometimes, even myself, to sharpen my own saw. So, uh, and, and I, I sort of take that as a challenge from, from Rabbi Lappin. Uh, he said, rest your mind one day a week and just see how amazing, uh, uh, it, 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 how amazingly it helps you. So, so, uh, so why do you have your best ideas in the shower? Again, my, my feeling is it's because you've let your mind rest. You're in that shower place, if you will. Uh, it's giving your, your mind time to breathe, to have a little space, have a little bit of that margin. It's that best place that you wind up solving problems because you're letting, you're giving, you're, you're letting your mind take a breath, stop and take a breath. Because it's just, if you think about it, we go through the day and it's just like our minds wore out and it can't even catch its own breath. So I want to challenge you to find your own shower place. Not necessarily a Sabbath, but, but find your own shower place to help you move forward faster. Maybe it's a quiet place you go to every day. Maybe uh, uh, if you're a person of faith like I am, maybe, uh, maybe it's a devotional uh, that you do every day. Maybe it's your own Sabbath that you take. Uh, maybe it, it's, it, it could be whatever. Whatever it is, take that time to sharpen your saw. If you don't take time to sharpen your saw, guess what? Later, you get to take the time. And this is true about so many things. Uh, if you don't take the time to do this now, you'll get to take the time later to be stymied with problems that you can't solve because you didn't give your mind time to breathe. And, uh, if you, it's in, and that's true about just so many different things. Uh, if you don't take the time to take care of your health, guess what? Later, you get to take the time to, uh, to deal with health problems. If you don't take the time for your family, then later you get to take the time for all the family problems it caused because you weren't, uh, you know, you weren't doing what you were supposed to do as as your your part, your responsibility uh, in a family situation. So so anyway, I hope these things are helpful. I hope uh, sometimes they're a little broader beyond uh, just business and inventing. Uh, uh, because a lot of this bleeds out into just our entire lives and and you know I think it's all kind of interconnected and it's all uh, uh, you know one thing is connected to another thing and uh, and we have to have kind of like all these things right on the same page so anyway I hope this is helpful for you I am Don Skaggs this is Empowered Inventing TV be sure to like and subscribe if you think this would help somebody else uh, send it their way uh, and share it with them and uh, uh, maybe we're, we can help more people. So uh, I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, maybe one of our online classes or on the next video.